This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global in Newcastle here, head of the show, no ifs, no buts. Fight on this bill this weekend. Mohamed Saltby uh, taking on Nathan Gorman. How are you, Mohamed? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm all good, I'm all good. So, uh, yeah, very interesting fight here between two unbeaten fighters in yourself and, and Nathan Gorman. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of the, this weekend? Yeah, man, you know, um, I can't wait to get in the ring Saturday. It's a great opportunity for me. You know, WBC International Silver title. Yeah. It's not a big title, you know, but it's a, it's a title. So, I can't wait to get in the ring. And the show the crowd, man, you know. <laughs> now, I mean, we've heard your name, but I suppose people probably wouldn't have seen too much of you. You've had 13 fights, and um, you're obviously the association is it with Francis Warren. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, what can the fans expect to see from, from you this week? I'll try to be as fast as possible, you know, throw a lot of combinations as possible and move well and beautifully, you know. That's how it is. <laughs> Nathan Gorman, um, very highly uh, regarded uh, as an up-and-coming heavyweight, standing there at the back. Um, have you seen much of Nathan? I saw one, one video. I saw, I saw he came box, you know, he's not bad. He came box. But uh, I got, I got some, some, a few plans, you know, to beat this guy, you know. He's young, he's a good fighter, credits to him, but um, I'm ready for Saturday. The original fight on this bill was between uh, Nathan Gorman and, and Nick Webb. Yeah, but, um, you know, Nathan explained to us, you know, the situation regarding why he's fighting you now. So, um, either way, someone's always got to go this weekend. Yes, yes, yes. Except I'm 100%, man. Someone's always got to go. <laughs> yeah. It's very much talked about the heavyweight division at the moment, uh, yeah. especially in, in this country here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what do you make of... I was going to say our, I know... Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. kind of from the Russian-German yeah, background, yeah. but um, what do you make of our um, heavyweight scene here at the moment? Who do you think is number one? I think um, Anthony Josh AJ proved that he's number one in the UK and in the world. Um, yeah, he's, he's a good fighter, you know. Um, you have a few, a few good heavyweights in the UK. I think the, the heavyweights are pretty good in the UK, and yeah. Mm. I look forward to mix, to mix them, you know. And um, obviously, as well, we're looking forward to hopefully seeing the return of Tyson Fury next year as well. Yeah, exactly. I think Tyson Fury, um, for me, he was the, technically the best heavyweight uh, when he was fit <laughs> in shape, and yeah. now he's out of shape. And I hope he will get his shape back and, you know, come back. So I think he's a very, very, very good boxer. How long do you believe before you are knocking on the door of all these top heavyweights around? To be honest, I think, you know, I'm a realistic man. I think one and a half, two years, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. You know, I'm, I'm working hard. I'm working very hard. You know what I mean? I'm a small heavyweight, maybe. You know, but when I started my preparation, I'm losing five, six kilos. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, man. I'll be there. And, yeah, I'm working hard. All right, well, listen, Mamid, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And uh, we look forward to a very interesting clash this weekend in Newcastle. So, wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much.